Scientists suspect there's a mathematical formula underpinning nature, specifically the ratio of predators to their prey. A massive analysis shows this scaling is present across entire ecosystems, in both terrestrial and aquatic environments, from apex predators on the African savanna to krill and plankton, and the tiny things they eat. Biologists say even little zooplankton that eat phytoplankton show the same structural pattern, and it's gone unrecognized until now. Researchers analyzed the data from more than 1,000 existing studies on predators, prey, and their relationships. Only at that large scale did formulaic connections start to show up. We find that predator and prey biomass follow a general scaling law with exponents consistently near three-fourths. This means the relationships between predator and prey are consistent, but the behavior of each group can appear confusing. If available prey doubles, the predator population increases, but not by the same proportion. The faster prey gets added to an ecosystem, the slower predator numbers increase. And the fewer predators there are, the slower prey numbers increase. Scientists aren't sure why the two groups balance this way yet, all they know is the math works. What we have is a baseline, one of the researchers told the Washington Post. We know that if there's this many prey, we should be able to explain how many predators there are. The formulas could provide new ways for conservationists and other researchers to track the distribution of predators and monitor the health of ecosystems. The researchers have published their findings in the journal Science. For Newsy, I'm Cliff Judy.